to sort of get the timing down <laughs> so I don't have to add any can barks. <laughs> so here we go, my comedy act for dogs. Well, good evening, poodles and collies. <laughs> Got kind of a funny story for you. You know, it was raining cats and dogs the other day. I know, because I stepped in a poodle. <laughs> Black and white and wet all over? A newspaper. <laughs> okay, uh, Bowser. And, Bowser and Fido. Oh, the show's not over yet. Here. How about you, sir? <laughs> well, where are you from? Oh, Canoga Park. <laughs> well, uh, do you have a family out there, or uh, mostly live alone? You have to tell what time do you have to be home? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he can't tell me because I have his watch. <laughs> Wait now, and um, now I'd like to, uh, to. I'd like to. Calm down now, boys. Good, good dog. That's it. Stay. Okay, now I'd like to play a little tune on the dog whistle. Like you don't notice me. <laughs> Here, Peggy. Now listen and listen good. <laughs> We're busting out of here tonight. Are you with us? Leona. <laughs> Keep it down, you fool. Want that screw up there in the tower to hear us? All right. Now get this, because we ain't got much time out here in the yard. Is he looking? Okay. Put the paper down next to you. No on this side, stupid. Okay? Now. Whistle. What? Whistle. <laughs> okay, okay. You, PG, PG. Now pick up the paper and look in it. What's that? It's a spoon. 
I made it out of a knife. <laughs> well, hide it, hide it, watch it, watch it. Good afternoon, Warden. Oh, we're just sitting here talking. That's all. Huh? The warden wants to know what you got there in that paper. Just got an old spoon. <laughs> well, I, I suppose warden is probably... His watch. Yeah, that's what it is, Warden. He's got his watch in that paper. Yeah, yeah, let me show you, Warden. See, see? Just a watch. That's all it is. Huh? Okay. Warden says that you're not supposed to have a watch when you're assigned to D-Wing. I'm supposed to keep it for you. Okay, Warden. So long. My wife. Say goodbye to the warden. Here. I have got to give you the password. Huh? Now, at 6 o'clock, you go up to Cookie in the mess hall, and he'll say, hi. And then you say, hi. <laughs> give me just a little sliver of the apple pie. A little sliver. Because my mama never let me eat much sweets. And I'm used to not eating sweets. And then, if you'd be so kind as to put a chunk of cheese on it, I'd be ever so appreciated. Now that's the password. You got that? Leo? Leo? Hmm? <laughs> whistle. What? Put the paper down and whistle. <laughs> Pick the paper up. Look in it. a bar of soap. Oh. I made it out of a gun. <laughs> Here, watch it. Hmm? Afternoon, warden. Huh? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Warden wants to know what you got in the paper there. What do you want? Give me this bar. <laughs> what? Probably his ring, Warden. That's probably what's in there. That's, I'm sure that's what it is, his ring. Ring, oh, yeah, oh, that's what it is. Uh-huh, yeah. See, Warden, that's what's there, yeah. Okay, yeah. The Warden says that you're not supposed to have a ring if you're assigned to D-Wing, and I'm supposed to keep it for you. <laughs> huh, Warden, what's that? Oh, there's nothing else in there unless... Well, it might be his wallet. Might be his wallet's in there. I bet his wallet's in there. That's what it is, his wallet. Just a minute now. Um, I'm not going to go for this again. You see, I'm, my wallet ain't in there. You got my watch and my ring, but you're going to get it now. You're going to... Officer, just a minute. Come here, officer. I got something to report. This woman here is busting out of this place tonight. Yeah. And she gave me a spoon and a bar of soap right in here. And she took my ring and my watch, right? Put it right in there like that. Now, I'm supposed to go to the mess hall tonight and talk to Cookie and give him a pass. And I'm supposed to say to him, I just want a little sliver of pie and I want some cheese on it because I never had any sweets when I was, I was young. And, uh, and I'm supposed to say that and, uh, and the password. And then I'm... Uh, she, I told you she got my watch and my ring, and, uh, and then the, uh, the warden came by. I got it. The warden. And... All right, fella. You and I better take a little walk. Come on. She got my watch. That's all. Okay. <laughs> oh, I sure hate to be in his shoes when the warden gets wind of this. <laughs> Thank you.
time for the second half of The Carol Burnett Show. And now, back for the second half of The Carol Burnett Show. so well. Well, thank you, Sister dear. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't my idea to come over here without calling first. Well, now, what kind of a surprise would that have been? Well, evidently, there's some kind of a party going on here tonight, Mama, that we wasn't invited to, so I think maybe we better just creep on back into our humble part of town. <laughs> well, now, it's just a few friends, and I knew they would bore you silly, so... So let's just have a quick chat before they get here, and then we can have a leisurely visit sometime real soon. Well, now, I don't know how quick I can hand you this present, but I'll try. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Ellen. Why, thank you, Mama. Well, now, that's from both of us. Oh, thank you, Eunice. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Ah, uh, well... My, my, my. Isn't Ellen's house gorgeous, Eunice? Mm-hmm. Just look at this brand-new velvet sofa. Whew, I tell you, you know, I don't believe I've ever relaxed on that sofa of yours, Eunice. Well, you looked pretty relaxed last night after that fourth beer you had. <laughs> I did not have four beers, Missy. Oh, you finished yeah. off them last you two had cans of mine. four beers. My, my. I have forgotten how refreshing it was to be around you two. <laughs> Boy, Mama sure is a character, isn't she? I tell you, she sure brightens things up around my house. <laughs> <laughs> What's new, Ellen? Oh, we just bumble along in our humdrum way. We are adding a room down in the back by the pool of the remodeling is driving me mad. Well, for crying out loud, Ellen, aren't you ever going to open your present? Oh, why, of course, Mama. of joy on your face. Why, well, yeah, we here. Yeah. Oh, I think you're gonna like it real nice. Oh, cologne. Oh, my, it's wonderful. Well, uh, I'll just take that ribbon. If you don't mind, I can use that on something else. <laughs> that paper's pretty well shot, though. Oh, Mama, two big bottles of it. I am glad you got it at a two-for-one sale. I'm glad you weren't extravagant. <laughs> I am just thrilled with it. <laughs> well, it's nothing much. It's just a little remembrance for your anniversary. I'm just pleased that at least one of my daughters was able to keep a marriage together. <laughs> Bruce not home yet, darling? Oh, something important came up at the office. He'll be desolated at missing you both. Oh, well, now I think we could probably stay on for a few minutes and join the party. Mama, I tell you, uh, we'll be, it's such a dull group. We'll be up chatting nonsense till all hours. Besides, you'll miss your wrestling on TV, darling. Well, now, don't be giving me the rush act till I've seen them two little granddaughters of mine. Where are they, anyhow? Well, they're upstairs studying, Mama. They got a lot of homework to catch up on. Oh, well, now, I'm just gonna just stick my head in there and surprise them little angels. Well, okay, Mom, but just, just pop your head in and pop it right out again. They have to get some work done. Well, fine, Ellen. What do you think I'm gonna do? Kidnap them and drag them off to the circus? <laughs> Maybe I can even help them a little bit. I can still think, you know. I ain't gaga yet. <laughs> 